quarterfinal number two here at the outer known Fiji Women's Pro featuring Sage Erickson versus current Jeep ratings leader Tyler Wright in a matchup. More opportunity, but taking this wave is going to be Tyler Wright. Patient down the line before she unleashes into the lip. Throws the fins out the back, just one turn for Tyler Wright. Tavarua Island Resort, and we're going to turn our attention to Sage Erickson. Who's going to have to get around this section, and she does so. Gets up in the lip for a nice snap. Up around the section again, a little late to that one, and goes down. With a watchful eye to see a signal whether she wants to ride out or she's going to take the paddle. Here's the replay. Yeah, just a little bit, a little bit behind the section. I think that uh, you know, obviously timing is very, very important, and uh, positioning your maneuvers there just a little bit too late to the party on that last turn. Needed to connect with that lip, maybe a split second before, uh, and made that maneuver way more critical. So obviously going down, not what Sage Erickson was looking for, that's for sure. She's having fun, which could spell danger for the rest of the draw. Live action with Tyler right now. Squaring off the bottom and hooking off the top. Again, off the bottom, off the top combination. Showing that power and that flow. Wave runs away, but two great turns from Tyler, Tyler Wright. Yeah, that's going to definitely be the first wave of substance, Kaipo. 16 and a half minutes to go. Tyler finally gets her heat underway. Two solid maneuvers. I love the, the low center of gravity that Tyler brings to her backhand. Just gives us so much drive off the bottom and then just that real punch into the lip. Showing some power. Precision. Uh, let's have a look here. You can see how she gets down to the bottom. Now she sort of crouches really low and drives off the top. Again, just that into that bo bottom turn, top turn combo. Back to back solid maneuvers. And you heard Barton talk about the fact that judges are liking these shorter more intense rides and Tyler connecting beautifully with that wave and that is definitely going to be the first good score. Let's have a look Tyler underneath the priority of Sage here we go. Sage is going to let her go. Tyler building up some speed down the line ducks through this section and a beautiful roof climb there projection to get down the line all she needs to do is improve on that 2.67 that she has in her score line and make the job tougher for Sage Erickson so Good just to keep surfing for Tyler Wright. A little bit wider, a little bit further down the reef is going to have a go at this one. Nice opening snap. Oh. And looking maybe a little too far down the line, catches a rail. Wow. Okay. Well, it's not going to hurt Tyler. I mean, she's, uh, that's not going to fuss her too much. Tyler Wright, is she going to go the first one? Sage yes. is going to force the issue, and Tyler goes. Tyler off the bottom. Nice carve off the top. And right. Looks to surf through this wave. Not needing to push too hard, although she did get the fins out the back on that last little fin drift. Just needs to improve upon a 267 to make that job even harder for Sage Erickson. And I think she just did that. Now Sage out the back looking for basically a one excellent score focused on some nice solid maneuvers surfed well within her means and uh, dropped a solid score let's have a look I love that low bottom turn that she got it just unleashes a big turn off the top and again just clean seamless surfing right there throwing the fins out the back so showing the judges some variety showing that speed power and flow on a very small wave that Tyler Wright absolutely blitzed all the way through the inside Two minutes and 40 seconds to go. Say Erickson right up against it now. And there you have it. Courtney Conlock now knows who she has in semi-final number one, which would quite possibly, hopefully, fingers crossed, coming up later today. Tyler Wright wants to keep a firm grasp on that yellow Jeep leader's jersey, and her clench is tightening right now as she's wands. Quarterfinal number two, she's on to semifinal number one. 